Students filled Raider Stadium this morning as a tragic DUI accident involving real students at Habersham Central unfolded in front of them. It's pretty sad because I've been in a wreck before, some sort of like that before, and uh, just knowing those people that were in that wreck personally, I was over there almost tearing up during it because it just hits home. This dramatic simulation involving fire trucks, helicopters, and even a hearse to tote away a dead body was planned to raise awareness of the dangers of distracted driving right around homecoming. Typically that's what it takes as a tragic event to change an individual's uh, perception or, or their decision making. A few weeks ago, students talked with an Air Life supervisor in small groups about the dangers of distracted driving. We can talk and talk and talk, and then what they see is really going to stick with them more. A cross-section of the student body was selected to act out the simulation. Because the students involved in the accident went to Habersham Central, this simulation particularly hit home with the students watching. Marvin was one of my best friends, just seeing him sitting there. It's just tough. But how effective are these simulations really? It's very difficult to get solid statistics or solid numbers on how effective simulations like this uh, are as far as making uh, changes in the students' decision making. Uh, but we do know that studies have shown that it opens dialogues where parents and students are able to talk uh, as well as students and teachers to hopefully change their decisions. And Jones says the ultimate lesson is that all decisions have consequences. In Habersham County, Rachel Garrett, WNEG News, Northeast Georgia.